Hi guys, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing a review for Monkey Beach by Eden Robinson. So this is a piece of Canadian literature, it is a piece of indigenous literature, it is probably my favorite book of 2016 so far. This tells the story of Lisa and her family and so Lisa is our narrator. She is about 20-ish when the story starts and so uh, Lisa's living at home and her younger brother Jimmy goes out on a boating expedition and the boat goes missing. So the external plot that connects the whole narrative is Lisa worrying about her brother, whether or not they will find him alive, and how her family reacts to that. Um, in between this narrative, Lisa is remembering her childhood, remembering other family members that have passed away or that have moved away. Basically, she recounts the experiences that shape her into the chain-smoking adult that we meet at the beginning of the narrative. It is beautiful, it is spiritual, it is sparse and yet somehow vivid, and I love it. For whatever reason, how I, I have no idea how Robinson does this, but she is able to vividly describe places and people in very few words. So um, this I read for a book club and one of the other book club members talked about how she has stock footage for houses or for locations so that whenever a house is introduced in a book, she automatically pictures this stock image house. And it's funny because I've never met anybody who's quite as visual a reader as I am because I also do this. I have a sort of stock house. It takes a really special narration and uh, description style to sort of break away my stock footage. With Robinson's writing, I use none of my stock footage on Lisa's house. Like I have such a vivid picture of Lisa's house in my mind. And there's very, very little description. It's not like, Tolkien where you're walking through the forest and he's describing every single tree to you. It's somehow vivid and gives you this sense of location without being dense. That light-handed vividness sort of transfers into her characters. So even side characters that we meet, they're not heavily described, but there's enough about each character that I was attached to them. I could picture how they moved, how they behaved, how they spoke without really having her ram this sort of information, this character information down our throats. It's such a subtle technique that when one of the side characters died, I felt a deep sense of loss. The issues that are brought up in the story can be kind of triggering. There is some drug and alcohol use, there's violence, there is sexual assault. It's a heavy book, even though these real issues for real indigenous people are very, very serious. The text somehow straddles that boundary between humor and reality and it makes it a compelling read. It was so quick to read the book because I wanted to keep reading. I wanted to find out what happened. I read this right at the end of August and I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, so I, I cannot recommend this enough. Let me know your thoughts on Monkey Beach in the comments down below. Leave me any recommendations for any indigenous literatures that you have stumbled across in the comments down below. I would love to keep reading. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.